reed may respond poorly to your breath because it's set at an angle above the reed plate that's too high or too low. Too low and it'll blank out unless you breathe very lightly or it may delay sounding until after you start breathing. If the reed's too high, it'll take a lot of breath to play and may sound airy. The easiest way to change the gap or offset of a reed is with the reed plates removed from the comb. You can see that each reed on this reed plate rises from the base to the tip. With a small gap at the tip, you need some gap or the reed won't sound at all. To lower a reed, you can press gently on its base with something stiff like a toothpick or this little device here. Just kind of massage it from the base. Or you can do it like this, tugging on the end of the reed as it's passed through its slot. And then you let it spring back. You can raise a reed by flexing the tip upward like this, or by pressing the base through the slot like this. The acid test of your actions is always in assembling the harp and playing it. You can do a quick test just by holding the parts together without using screws. So here's the comb. There's the bottom reed plate. Align the length of the reeds with the length of the slots. There's the top one. And then I'll just add the covers. Get the front of each cover in its groove. Just kind of make sure everything's kind of aligned. And then I'm going to play each note and hopefully they'll all respond evenly to my breath. Responding nicely. Pretty simple thing. It's not too hard to do.